Hi guys, it's Mo Mastafa here from MoMastafa.com and today I'm here with uh, Rob Warlow, uh, author of Loan Sharp, which is a business book um, specifically designed to help small business owners get the finance that they need from banks. And we've obviously all heard that um, there's a lot of news um, going on at the moment of the economy being really down and stuff, but clearly there are business owners out there who are still managing to get finance. So um, mm. maybe Rob, you can tell us a little bit about how they're doing this. Okay. You're right, there are businesses out there getting hold of money. Everybody knows getting finance is tough, um, and it needs to be tough. The credit boom days are gone, and so everybody needs to be working a lot harder to get that finance. And so the banks are making it tough for a particular reason. But yeah, there are things that business owners can do um, to make sure they get that elusive yes. And I say the first step for me um, certainly would be about having a very clear vision for your business. And what the bank's looking for is really, is my money safe with you? If I'm going to give you 100, 200K, I need to know, am I going to get that money back? Now, what the banks are looking for is to lend money that is going to help move your business forward. They're not interested in lending you get out of jail money, which is, I'm late to my taxes, my VAT, my PAYE, yeah. all that sort of stuff. Banks not interested in lending money against that. So you've got to have a very clear vision about, I'm taking your money, here's what I'm going to do with it. This is how it's going to positively impact on my business. And that's going to get you that, that first that real bank's interest into what you want to do. Okay, excellent. Okay, Rob, so um, if I'm right on this, the, the first step is to make sure that you, um, you know what the money is for and that you want it for a, a positive purpose, which is basically to grow your business rather than sort of, a, like you said, get out of jail, mm. freak out kind of thing. Mm. Okay, so what would you say is the, uh, the next step then the business owner has to look at? Okay. The next step really is to write a business plan. Um, again, that habit of writing a business plan really got lost during the easy days of getting credit, but now that's really back. Because what the bank's looking for is your impressions of how you're going to grow this business, and there's no better way of doing that than putting your business plan together. Now, at this point, many business owners get a bit phased, and I can't write a business plan, it's far too yeah. complicated, but it doesn't have to be. It's as simple as four chapters where I've come from, which is all about your background, where I am now, what does the business look like today, um, where I want to be, which is your goals and your visions come into it, and the bit that the bank is really interested is, how am I going to get there? So it's where have I come from, where I am now, and where I want to be, and how I'm going to get there. That's essentially a four-step framework for writing a perfect business plan. So you've really got to sit down, put the effort in, Put that plan together because that's what the bank wants to see okay that's great stuff rob so um what would you say though to the business owners who are still finding themselves getting rejected by the banks and the, the, the banks for some reason are just still refusing the budget and, and lend the money mm -hmm. yeah it can happen i mean you can have that perfect vision you can have the perfect business plan but for some reason the bank just doesn't get what you want to do or you're in the wrong sector and it's not a sector that they're lending to but you shouldn't stop there because there are growing alternatives to banks asset-based lending, uh, leasing, HP, asset finance. You've got uh, a very growing trend looking at what's called crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer lending. This okay. is where you've got money burning a hole in your bank account, earning a derisory rate, and you want to lend it to business owners like me. So there are um, sites getting out there, Zopa, Crowdcube, Funding Circle, all of these uh, online portals are coming up to help business owners essentially bypass banks. So if you're in that situation okay. where bankers said no, just look for those alternative sources of finance because they are there and they are really growing. So I urge everyone just to have a look at all those alternative sources. Okay, thank you very much there, Rob. Um, obviously, there's some great advice there from, um, from Bob Borlo. Um, first of all, like he said, you need to have a clear vision of what you want to lend the money for and kind of be able to prove that to the banks. And the way you would do that is by writing, obviously, uh, a good um, sort of business plan, is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then, as you said, if if for some reason the banks are still refusing the budge, uh, Rob's given you some really, really great uh, resources you can check out online. There's lots of different alternatives. And again, if you still find yourself getting stuck and you want to speak to Rob, then I'm sure Rob would be more than happy to kind of um, point you in the right direction. So where would they be able to get hold of you if, they, if anyone wanted to speak to you, Rob? You can check out my website, businessloanservices.co.uk, or alternatively, I'd search me out on Google, Rob Warlow, or 
um, check out my book on Amazon. It's called Loan Sharp. That's sharp as in print brick. Um, just type that into Amazon and you'll find my book there. It's a kind of self-help guide for business owners looking to raise finance. Awesome stuff. Thank you very much, Bob. Good. Um, I'll speak to you shortly. Take care. Yeah, bye now.